Welcome to Charters Local Edition. I'm Brad Pomerantz. We thank you for joining us. Our guest is Dr. Yolanda Moses. She is a professor of anthropology at UC Riverside, here to talk about just a very compelling issue that's on the minds of Americans, and that's the question of race. What is race? Well, first of all, I'll tell you what race isn't. Go. Race is not uh, biology. Race is a recent human invention. It's a social construct really? and it's been with us for about 500 years. Yes. So when someone says that they are black, Asian, Caucasian, do you believe that is a legitimate label as it relates to race? Of course not. It is. Really? These are categories, social categories that people have been uh, put into uh, and if you look uh, at different points in our history, you'll see that those same categories that you named were called something else in our U.S. census. So it's a fluid kind of concept that gets codified, and in the U.S., we do it pretty much based on the way people look, yeah, which so, is very misleading. But is it fluid because we see a lot of, for lack of a better term, interbreeding between these alleged races, or is it fluid because that's what homo sapiens are? Well, from the very beginning, and one of the concepts that we try to get across in our project, the race project that has the exhibit that's traveling around the country. And is, coming to Los Angeles in September. That's right. At the California Science Center downtown that's LA. exactly right. Continue. Uh, what we say is that from the beginning of human existence, we have traveled and we have intermated. So it would be very difficult, regardless of what a person looks like on, through, uh, on the basis of their skin, which is just you know, one of 30,000 different markers for us that we chose to pick that one as the one to categorize people. I, I, I told you before that I've taken up a hobby, genetic yes. genealogy. Yes. And as you know, uh, for many centuries, people identified Jews as part, as a race. That's right. We know Jews are not a race. And what's interesting is if you look at the maternal line of many Eastern European Jews, their maternal ancestor is African. Now, Jews, generally speaking, don't look exactly. black African. Right. So that really makes your point. It makes the point. It, it is that, and, and looking at yourself, for example, you're fairly light. Mm -hmm. And so I would presume that your ancestors, there's probably a Scotch Irish somewhere back there. Heinz 57. Exactly. And we all are. That's the point. Genetically, if we look at our ancestry through, through our genes, mm -hmm. we're a mixture of, of every person, and we can trace our ancestors if we ever could, back uh, thousands of years, we find that we had this common ancestor. Well, let's talk about, though, why this discussion is so hot, and it's obvious. Our president, Barack Obama, I don't know, is he black? Is he white? I mean, you know, the, the, the African-American community takes him as their yes. own. And he chooses. And he chooses that, but, you know, the, the white community could do that as well. Exactly. His mom's white. In terms of biology, it's just as much, he is just as much a part of the genetic make up an ancestry of his mother's side of the family as he is uh, of his father's side, which is Kenyan which, and not U.S. African American. So presumably he does not have slave heritage. Well, and that's the, yeah, that's the assumption. Okay, so given this conversation, where do we go from here? Well, first of all, I think we have to talk about the facts. What's the science? What is the social construction? And the American Anthropology Association has this exhibit, Race, Are We So Different?, that has been designed and is traveling across the United States just to do this. It is for teachers, it is for researchers, it is for family members, and hope everybody goes to see it. September, downtown Los Angeles, California yes. Science Center. Dr. Moses, thank you so much for joining us. Okay. <laughs> for Charters Local Edition, I'm Brad Pomerantz.